Welcome back to Arts and Crafts. I seriously think I was in another dimension. I don't even know what this is. Oh, setting fire. Okay, why? What's up, homies? It's been a minute. I was weirdly having an urge to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm feeling very crafty today. I don't know why. I think I want to upcycle a bunch of my clothing that I like that I don't wear anymore. For example, I have like six black blazers for why. I don't know, but we can make it into something cuter. So that's the goal for today. I'm having flashbacks to Halloween. For those of you that are new, first of all, hi, thank you for being here. You're in a great place. I love my YouTube family so much. But last Halloween, I DIY'd my Black Swan Halloween costume and it took me literally probably three days straight but i act i honestly really enjoyed it so i'm hoping that i'll enjoy this too this is my second bang of the day i don't know what's wrong with me usually i can't even finish one because it makes like it makes my heart feel weird but let's hit it very overwhelmed there's too many options this was my original plan i literally can't pick it's also just so quiet in here there's no way i just spent almost two hours inside of Hobby Lobby. Holy shit. I like don't even remember being inside. Like, I was completely zoned out. I seriously think I was in another dimension. That was insane. I looked at the clock and I was like, huh? It's because I can't even make daily decisions. Like should I eat an apple or a pear? Much less should I get, fucking hell. Should I get the plain pleated material or should I get the lace pleated material? And then I just caved and got fucking both. I better make some cute ass shit. All right, grand reveal of why I spent pretty much my entire day at Hobby Lobby. Starting with fabrics, this pleated white trim. I guess it's all kind of trim. I didn't get really get any like, well, I didn't really, I, I didn't get any like actual fabric. The lace trim that is basically the exact same thing. I got some regular black lace. I feel like this will be cute to trim something white. And I wasn't sure which size I was going to need, you know, because they're, they're so different. Like I could have just folded this one in half but, and then I got the same thing in white. I'm definitely gonna be making a trip to make returns of stuff I don't use, so I say. And then I got smaller black lace in case this is like too big for something that, my brain was just like on crack while I was in there. I got piping. I don't even know what this is. And then, oh, I went into the scrapbooking section because I just love the scrapbooking section. And I found these little bows and granted I could have tied them myself, um, but I feel like this will be easier, like if I want to put a little bow on something, like in the middle. Glue, since I do have a sewing machine. Do you think I know how to use it? Absolutely not. Oh, 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 I'm excited about this. It's pearls, but it has bedazzles on it. A little H charm. So, that's what we're working with. The crafting will commence tomorrow because I am too tired. Okay, so here's the current plan of action. We have this cropped blazer. That I think I want to turn into a set with this black skirt because the zipper broke. Oh, so I was going to have to fix it anyways. This white button up because I have like 20 of them. And then this, I thought I could cut it in half and make it into a set. Oh, and then I also have this white dress. It's so cute, but I've already worn it and like posted in it. But I kind of want to do like black lace trim. Starting off, oh, this is for my last arts and crafts project. Sorry, mom. So for the blazer, I thought we could do on the lapel. I kind of want to line this with pearls. Cute. I think I might cut the back out and make it so that it like ties with a bow or something. Good know what are you doing? What are you doing? I actually think I definitely am gonna cut the back out, so I'm gonna do that first. I'm using this top that's backless as a guide to cut this one. And I only have one of these, so no do-overs. <laughs> Okay, surprisingly it looks really good. Now, okay, so I definitely want the bow in the back to tie and be like a really big bow, but I don't know if I want the ribbon to not show in the front or if I should like, I could put the ribbon on the bottom like this. This ribbon doesn't match the pearls. This is a problem. Am I about to go back to Hobby Lobby? I guess we'll just do the pearls first. This whole thing right here was supposed to be a part of my vlog that will be up next week. But I had too many ideas, so I was like, I'll just make it a separate video. Anyways, so there's a vlog coming. Okay, why is this not sticking? I thought this was supposed to be like the strongest glue ever in the world. Does it like not work on fabric? If that's the case, then that's gonna really suck. It's still not sticking. Oh my gosh. Allow 24 hours for curing. Oh my gosh. Should I be using hot glue or something?
Not bad. Okay, so while these dry for 24 hours, I wanna make this a matching skirt to this. So I could do a ribbon at the top like this. Oh, that could be cute. And then do a bow in the front since the bow on the blazer is gonna be on the back. Yeah. I think so. I also decided that I will not be going back to Hobby Lobby and we're just gonna work with the white ribbon. Okay, another problem is that the skirt does have a slit. I'm like, do I cut it off right here? Right now, this is what this skirt would look like. If I cut it right here, then it would be a little shorter. Yeah, definitely. And then I could just like make it tighter or I could even like bring it. Ooh, yeah, that's cute. All right, here goes nothing. Question is, do we want this whole thing like this or should I fold it like in half? But also layer it. Oh yeah, that could be cute. How is this out? What? Oh, now I'm definitely gonna have to go back. I'm gonna need like two more of these because I still have to put the bow on the blazer. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got more ribbon. These are gonna go on the skirt. I got these miniature pearls because I thought it might be cute to put like an H on the pocket. I'm gonna practice a bow to see what it'll look like. And I really hope I don't run out of ribbon because tomorrow's Sunday, so Hobby Lobby will be closed. Hopefully this bow just looks like so amazing and this is the one I use. Okay, honestly, not bad. This on the skirt, I think that'll be cute. But what? Oh my gosh. My brother's throwing a party tonight, so everyone's arguing. Shut up, shut up. This is the skirt right now. These are all glued on. I still have to fold the top of this like over so the seam is like cleaner. I just folded these in half, like I glued these in half and then layered them on top of each other right here. But for the blazer, I don't know how I wanna incorporate these on the front of it. Cause it's not gonna look like it matches unless this is on the front. So I was thinking like I could wrap this on the bottom and then do the bow in the back or Oh, this is my other idea. I could put it like on the other side of the lapel and like have it peeking out on this side. Also that glue, oh my God. I think actually I'm gonna finish the skirt and then come back to this. Wow, we still have so many other things to do. Okay, well, in regards to the set, there's lots of things that need to set overnight. So I'm gonna start on making this dress into, oh my God into a set because i'm gonna have to add elastic into the skirt okay continue the video You're i'm trying <laughs> gonna cut this like in half basically if you remember that yellow top i made on my tiktok like literally three years ago i'm gonna do the same thing basically it's good enough to me okay so this will have elastic in it and it'll be oh that's gonna be actually so cute i don't even know if i need to take this out maybe i could just put the oh oh i could take this trim and put it like Shit, they're different color whites. Never mind, that was a bad idea. So I'm just gonna take this. Wait, no, it has to be inside out. What am I doing? I'm just gonna fold it over like this, glue it like all the way around, and then tomorrow I'll thread the elastic through it. Okay, so everything has had time to dry and we shall continue. In terms of progress, we have a almost finished skirt. I do have to fix like the sides to make it look like more whatever. I'm gonna put this bow on. No progress on the blazer other than I did do this H that I spent literally so long on last night. It's literally not even done. It was so <laughs> tedious, but it's getting there. Oh, it looks even worse flipped. Wow. But it's not glued on because I got sticker pearls from the scrapbooking section and I didn't realize they were like in the line so i had to individually cut these and there's like adhesive on the back so i just stuck them onto this to get, to get like a nice layout and then i'm gonna re-glue them which now that i'm thinking about it is a terrible idea today i have this bodysuit and i got black piping and i think i'm gonna like outline the edges in black and then maybe put like a little bow in the middle right here I feel like this is such a better angle than how it was yesterday. Ew, why is that sticky? And then to put the elastic through, it's actually really easy. You can also do this with drawstrings. Like if you wash 
like your hoodie or your shorts and the drawstring comes out, this is what I do. So you just put a safety pin on the end and then whenever you, if you're making a skirt, whenever you glue it, you leave like a little opening at the very end, like where the seam is. You stick this in and just start threading it through. It does kind of take a while. So you just push it and then grab it and then pull the rest. So this is the safety pin, push, push and then pull push pull once you have it all the way through it is probably smart to sew it since it's elastic i'm not going to do that but just fyi i will be using glue honestly you probably could just like safety pin it and leave it in there should i do that i feel like this actually will hold okay another tip Make sure you get stretchier elastic because this is not very stretchy. It is cute though. Like look, it's a skirt. So for the top, I also thought that maybe on collar, I have these charms and I could put one on each side. Oh, that's kind of sick. I'm gonna have to think about this, figure it out later. Okay, so right now I'm just adding black piping and I'm just gonna add it to the boning of this Top. I'm also gonna line the seams. I would say this one is definitely the easiest, but I think it's gonna be really cute I'm still just using this fabric glue that takes like 87 billion years to dry, but that's all we got I was gonna use hot glue, but I don't think you're supposed to use that on Fabric okay for the blazer I decided I'm gonna line the bottoms with the white ribbon and then also the pocket I'm gonna put like a big pocket square and then connect it to the bow in the back I also forgot to mention whenever you're using ribbon if you're ever gonna do any of this. You light the edges so that they don't fray. Kind of fun. I'm making these ties super long so that I can tie in a bow once it's actually on. Setting fire to the ends. And then in the pocket, you need to add like a little piece. A little smaller. Nice. Oh my God, I think we're done. Then I think this bodysuit is done, but I didn't know if I should put this one like across the middle like this. Yeah, definitely, right? Yeah, it looks way better. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, we're moving on to the white dress. I'm just gonna take this black lace and glue it on the inside so that it peeks out the top. If you're here from TikTok, then you've already seen me do this part, so you can watch it again. We're sticking with the hot glue because it's much easier. I just don't know if I should use this one or this one. This one's like a little prettier on the edges. Ooh, that's cute. Can you see? Yep, that's what we're doing. This one also has like elastic in it, so it bunches up and just makes it more like frilly. How did it already drop? Excuse me, what is happening? Also, where are my glue sticks? Bruh, it just unplugged. Oh my god. Okay, the bow is on. Now I'm just gonna add lace to the bottom. This is gonna be really cute. Like, this bow is so good. Oh my god. I keep like looking at everything and like getting other ideas. Like, these pearls. I'm just like obsessed with these pearls. Is that too much? I don't know. Nah, nah. Also, if you couldn't already tell, I gave up on the Pearl H. It was driving me insane. I couldn't do it anymore. Anyways, this is the fittest little, I think this might be my favorite. It's like a little baby doll dress. I love this so much. Like I would pay money for this. So what the, this is so freaking cute. Look at this. This is the only thing I've tried on so far and it's very promising. Holy shit. Guys, literally look at this. This is so cute. I think if I was gonna change anything, I would make the white on this like not as thick, but the blazer turned out like a mate. Like I will wear this blazer. I don't know if I'll wear the skirt with it. And I also might put more pearls like down here. But other than that, I'm like really happy with it. And I really like the open back. This one turned out really adorable too for how easy it was. And like you could do this with anything. Like you could take a big t-shirt like I did, but I definitely will wear this. I might make the top a little bit shorter, but like this was so easy to make and so much cuter than it was before. And then last but not least, we have the bodysuit, which is super cute, but I will warn you, if you do this, I'm not sure what I should have done differently, 
but it does fit a lot tighter now. So I don't know if you should like stretch the fabric or get like stretchy, whatever this is, but it is really cute. And it like made the top into a completely different top, but that's everything. I hope that this gives you inspiration. And if you try any of these things, definitely tag me or send it to me or do whatever. There's a vlog coming, I promise. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in next week's vlog.